Welcome to the 2018 NCAA Baseball Regionals presented by Capital One. Tonight at Baum Stadium in Fayetteville, a winner's matchup between host and number one seed Arkansas and the number two seed Southern Miss Golden Eagles out of Conference USA. DBU advances to take on the loser of tonight's game. The winner between Arkansas and Southern Miss advances right on to Sunday's regional final. They've lost just three times here in Fayetteville. Cole lines out to third baseman Luke Reynolds, and we are underway. Bullpen, you have put yourself in a real tough spot. A bullet back up the middle for a base hit. Casey Martin is aboard. He goes the other way again with a line drive base hit. Going from first to third, Martin slides in ahead of the throw. Now the one, two. Bouncer to short. Boyd goes the easy way. And a nice job to escape trouble for Stevie Power, Arkansas tonight. Casey Murphy, a young man from just a couple of towns north of here in Rogers, Arkansas, out of Rogers Heritage High School. And he will give a different look than what we saw yesterday out of lane night. Yeah, no question. You got the left left hander coming in here, fastball, slider chains, and think about Casey is he wants the ball in big games like this. Raised and uh, in Guatemala just came to the States to play his high school ball and get an opportunity to play on scholarship at the Division I level. He's retired. It's my job and throwing strikes and don't have to worry about how I'm going to call this game. High fly by Guidry, deep to left, carries well, but dies on the warning track in the glove of Heston Kerstad. That one clearly was out of the zone. And it's a leadoff walk. Palm Stadium. Powers has his pitch driven deep to left field. It is gone. Home run number five on the year for Jared Gates. And the Hogs are on the board first. Takes it out of the yard the opposite way. I love these left-handed hitters in this lineup. And most of the lineups we've seen throughout this regional continue to take the ball to left field and the ball carries and carries and gets out of the park yesterday and two hits in his first plate appearances in the. Trying to build on their two nothing lead runner goes. Ball hit deep to right field if it's fair it's gone and it's way gone. How about that for some opposite field power off the bat of Eric Cole the second two-run homer of the inning. Wow, great balance at the plate. And how about that from your leadoff, man? You can get 13 knocks out of the park. That wind blowing out to right field just kind of rode that out. Deep out to right field, another opposite field home run. But USA, they may have three, four, five hitters, but they don't have the depth of the lineup that Arkansas has. To turn out, rain or shine. Runner goes. Ball four. Now Dominic Fletcher laces one of the gap in right center field. That's going to score at least one. Kerstead scores to make it five to nothing. Runners on the corners as the Hogs bat around. Runner goes, ball whistled into right center field, and the Razorbacks are at it again. In comes one, all the way around from first. Fletcher's going to score. On to third with a two-run triple, Carson Shaddy. Boy, well, look at the emotion of Shaddy. He hits the triple. Dives into first base, can't wait to get off the ground and try to pump up this crowd. And if you're a local guy, why would you even look somewhere else? Chopper to third, Reynolds, the toss across. And that ends the inning, but not until 11 Razorbacks go to the plate. Seven of them come around to score. Hunter Slater. Hits one well towards the gap in left center field, but a sliding catch by the freshman, Heston Kerstad. Let's go. Of course, you know, you're down seven right now and going to run out of time quickly, but for now you just have to. But 
Hats off to those gr the grounds crew there. Long way to come for the outfielders. Montenegro with the dive. He got it. A spectacular play for the Southern Miss left fielder. Montenegro had a chance coming from left. Line drive, base hit into center. Eric Cole, two for three. Donaldson. But it doesn't get down. Eric Cole with a nice running catch. All right, I like it. Boy, down on strikes. Nine in a row retired by the crafty left-hander, Casey Murphy. Meter freestyle. So you're right. That dive, I wonder if uh, he learned it from her. Hot smash off the bat of Shaddy. Unable to be handled by Boyd. I would imagine that'll be a single. Of course you knew you were mowing him down. Jared Gates bounces one through the right side. That'll get the runner, Shaddy, around to third. And the Razorbacks are set up here in the top of the fifth inning once again. Jax Biggers. Shaddy was late getting back to third and tag, but he's going to make it home nonetheless. Sack fly, Jax Biggers. Here we go, Eric Cole. Sends that one into left center field, and once again, the Razorbacks on the merry-go-round. From first to third goes Jared Gates. That one's looped out towards left center, and it's going to get down. Ball kicks away from Walner in center. Trying to score all the way is Cole, and he is out. He's projected as a possible early round pick. Not sure about his signability, though, in the decisions of a 19 or 20 year old kid. There's a base hit. Daniel Keating has the first knock of the night against Casey Murphy. The one-two pitch, swung on and missed. He struck him out. A couple of RBIs, triple, just another day at the office for the former Southern Miss star. Nice play by Murphy to take away a potential base hit from Lee Martin. High fly again, this time deep to left field. Kerstad back again on the warning track, and once again, just like his last time up, Luke Reynolds sees one of his deep flies to left. High drive to right. Irby gives ground to the warning track. At the wall, he makes the catch. First pitch swinging as well. The freshman from Amarillo, Texas, is retired on a flyout. Quick inning for Cody Carroll. And the Golden Eagles. Fifth-year senior from right here in Fayetteville. He is a Razorback legacy. His father, Chris Shaddy, played in the early 80s. A brilliant diving catch at first base by Jared Gates. <laughs> Took him a while to smile, but it had to get his teammate, Carson Shaddy, over there to get him to smile. <laughs> what an effort. And indeed, hashtag SC Top 10. That's our second of the game that you could see on Sports Center later tonight. Yeah. Put a star next to that one. That's just another night at the office for the Razorbacks. Nationally, always in the top five, and you can see why. Boyd, fly ball to right. Cole giving ground. Two away. Dish Montenegro 0 for 3. Couple of ground outs and a fly out. He continues to struggle with that left hander. Casey Murphy. What a wonderful performance by this Southpaw. Standing ovation here at Vaughn. Home runs and counting for Texas. There's a rocket shot into the right field corner. Fletcher's going to try for two. Here's the throw from Irby. It's cut off. A two bagger. I would say he has done no damage to his reputation. Shaddy with a long drive, and it will get down. Another run scoring hit. It's a double for the fifth year senior from right here in Fayetteville. Got the mound by Caleb Bolden, freshman right hander from Texarkana, Texas. And a good opportunity for the freshman. 
high fly ball, deep right field. It is gone. Way out of here. Fourth home run of the year for Matt Guidry breaks up the shutout. That's ripped into center field, a base hit for Reynolds. He's now one for four. There's another shot off the bat of Walner. It goes up to the wall. Reynolds, he'll try to score. The relay won't be made. It's an RBI double for the sophomore for the Golden Eagles. Here's in Bryce Bonnet. Bonnet gonna make his ninth appearance of the year, 15 strikeouts in 16 innings. Ball four. By a single by Reynolds, an RBI double by Walner. That ball was caught, says the first base umpire, and that is a double play from Daniel Keating. And the first base umpire immediately. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Arkansas cruises through its second game of the regional and on to the championship round tomorrow. What a tremendous effort by Casey Murphy. Eight innings of work out on the mound, didn't give up a run, five hits, and how about the onslaught offensively? They lit it up. Again tonight, seven runs in the second inning, all they needed as they take this victory 10-2 and easily win this one tonight.